Hello everybody, this is the Viking Zone Network, and here we are today on this special day to answer questions for you to enjoy. Terrence, what are the questions today? We have one question. One question. The question is from Badgers Packers 12. Yes. His question is, who is Terrence? Terrence, who are you? I am Terrence Akers. I'm a University of Minnesota student. I love sports. I have brown hair. I'm 275 pounds. I'm six foot one. There you go. Size 10 shoe. And I wear Adidas, not Nikes. I'm Steve Walter. I am five foot twelve. I don't say six feet because I think it's more clever to say five foot twelve. I am as also a student at the University of Minnesota, and I also have brown hair. My birthday is September third, and I am two hundred pounds. How about that? Well, folks, we're going to talk about the Vikings and their upcoming game against the Detroit Lions. But first, how about that 2-1 and one start? Well, Viking Zone, as people know, I have season tickets to the Vikings. My dad is rich. Yes, that is true. We mention that a lot because he is rich. I don't know what his dad even does, but he makes a lot of money. A lot. So... We gotta use his second season tickets. Like he has one's first row fifty yard line. Yeah. He gave us his um high up ones, but they're still amazing. Mm-hmm. We get to go to about four or five games a year. We one game a year we get to use the fifty yard line seats. Yes, and we always choose a good game to do that. I think this year it's gonna be um the Packers. That makes sense, but the Packers are kinda bad. Yes. But it's always fun to watch yes. them but lose. The forty niner game. The 12th man won that one. I know Seahawks thinks blah, blah, blah. Our 12th man is much better than Our theirs. 12th man, I mean, we got Skull. We say Skull a lot. Yes. Can't get better but than that. Ponder was brilliant. We shut down Frank Gore, and that's all you need in a win over the 49ers. The 49ers were regarded as the best team in the NFL, but I think we know who the new best team is now. We're 2-1. and one. We are red hot. Look at this. We almost beat the Colts. We could be 3-0. We're tied for first in the NFC North. How about them Vikings? We have got this division title. We are making the playoffs, and then the Super Bowl is right down the street. Go Skull Vikes. Okay, if you want more recap on this game, watch earlier this week we had a Vikings own recap. I. He. Uh, well, I'm producer, but... Mm-hmm. I, I do those just by myself because two people doing a recap... It's simply too much to handle. I was in one once, but I just said hi. Yes, it's, it's just, it just... Jimmy really work. liked that. Jimmy okay, did. the Lions are bad, bad, bad. They are they, one and two. They lost to the Titans. They made it look close they on had a Hail Mary. They an amazing comeback. And they should have kicked a field goal. Their coach is dumb. That just shows how lack of discipline the players and coaches are. They, oh, they kick off. They, instead of kicking a field goal in overtime, they go for it. They go for an easy field goal range. Oh, there's miscommunication. That's no excuse. So, um, do you know about Matt Stafford's health? Uh, I do not. Okay, we'll look into that and we'll tweet it. Follow us on Twitter. At Terrence is awesome. And Vikings on 18. Okay. Okay. The Lions, all bad offense. They don't have a running back. Who knows about Stafford? Their home fans are weak. They were bags over their head. Yeah, that's pathetic. What like, a bunch of fair weather Even fans. if we went 0-16, I would want to be proud to be a fan. I yes. would be proud. You just made history, and that's how you show it? That's a shame. A complete shame. Okay. I think we scored 28. Three touchdowns by Adrian Peterson. One by Ponder to Rudolph. And I think they scored three because Jason Hansen is a beast. He's a very good kicker. I think uh, the Vikings have the advantage in this game. They're the better team. They have Christian Ponder, who's leading the league in completion percentage, MVP candidate. We have Adrian Peterson, who is Adrian Peterson. That's enough said. Our defense is looking pretty solid. All right, You see how we looked against the Niners? Held them to 13 points. I say we win this in a landslide. 
by a score of 37 to 2. That's right. Their only score is a safety because we feel bad for them. Okay, Viking Zone. I'll give my opinion, then you give yours on Monday night's refing. Well. I said I'll go first. Oh, I'm sorry, Terrence. Okay. I can't. There was stuff bad in all the games. Yes. But the Packers was well officiated. Mm -hmm. There were some calls missed, but even regular ref refs missed calls. Yeah. The catch at the end. Hey, I'm first. Oh, you're not done? No. The catch at the end, Sam Shields should be an actor. He was not pushed, or Michael or Golden Tate would have said he pushed him. Yes, he just NFL, fell. NFL he players flopped. do not lie. He said don't push. There was no push. And then, it was a tie ball. No one could know. M.D. Jennings, who's M.D. Jennings guy? Yeah, yeah, when you think of Jennings, you think of Greg Jennings. Shut up. And he sucks. Yes, and the Packers should have gotten the two, so they didn't even deserve it. Go Seahawks, go Vikings. Yes, the Packers, whether you think that's a good call or a bad call, the Packers deserve to lose in the end because simply they're a joke of a team. They got no pass game, they got no run game, so they got no defense. your offensive line gives up eight sacks in the first half, you deserve to lose no matter what. And the refs understood that, which is fair. Okay, we got some pick em. How about the 49ers at the Jets? I got 49ers. Well, I'm going with the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. For one reason and one reason only, Nick Folk. Okay, we got the Dolphins at the Cardinals. The Cardinals are the surprise team, so I got them. I got the Dolphins because the Cardinals will not start 4-0. That is just a... They can't. They're not that good. We got the struggling Saints at the struggling Packers. Drew Brees pulls out a win against this weak defense. I agree. Packers defense is weak. Plus, they're going to be just still complaining about that call. So I'm thinking that the Saints win this, get their first win, 37-18. to 18. Now here's a good one. The Giants at the Eagles. The Eagles win because Michael Vick is a turnover machine, thus making the Giants cocky, thus making them lose. Well, I'm going with the Giants because... Of this, their running back Andre Brown looked very good last week. That's why. Okay, and Monday Night Football, ba 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 ba, Donna Donna, Bears against the Cowboys. The Cowboys win behind their backup quarterback. Yes, you heard me right. Mm -hmm. Tony Romo neck broken. That's very bad. But who's their backup? I don't know. I want to say it's a kind of a big name. Oh, Kyle Orton. Yes. Kyle Orton's their backup, everybody. Yes. Kyle Orton. Okay. I'm going with the Cowboys as well. Okay. Now let's go on to the Gophers. The Gophers won again, and now we got Iowa, so we are 5-0. and Let's yes. give it to us. We are 5-0. and Congrats, Jerry Kill. 5-0, and Gophers. How about that? You know, we're one win away from bowl eligibility. We've got the Rose Bowl on the line right here. Like, like we're basically smelling the roses right now. It's getting stronger every week. But, you know, what a start for the Ghosts. You know, oh. no one expected us. We should be in the top 25, if not the top 10. Big news I saw on Twitter today. On 12-12-12, our very own Marquise Gray is getting married. <gasps> what a pre Rose Bowl treat is that? He, yes. already, he already has kids with this girl, so good job. Good job, Marquise Gray. I hope you and your wife have a wonderful marriage together. And, you know, I hope that your marriage can last, be celebrated. Last 10 years, hopefully. Yeah, and can be celebrated at the Rose Bowl as we win. Oh, how cool would that be? Undefeated team. The reason we get snubbed from the Rose Bowl is because the SEC biased, or from the national championship. Yes. And good night. Well, I'd like to bring back up the uh, SEC and how biased everyone is towards them. Okay, the SEC is overrated by a huge margin. The Big Ten is where it's at. You're making fun of us for losing to um, some, some bad teams, some Pac-12 teams. Those are just a couple teams losing, all right? Don't look at it for that. Look at it for how good we are as a whole. I mean... All right, sure, Iowa lost to Central Michigan. That's because Iowa is a joke football program, a joke university. Well, guess what? The Gophers are 4-0. Northwestern is 4-0. Ohio State is 4-0. 
How do you like that? And the SEC is going out there losing to uh, who is that? Louisiana Monroe. Yep, Monroe. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Monroe. Yeah, you call the SEC good, and your top ten team loses to UL Monroe. You call that good? I call it terrible. Terrible, I meant to say. It cut me off. But yeah, uh, I think it's that time of the year. Or the episode. It, it, it is that time of the episode to do shout outs. And my shout out is to the little cafe in Minneapolis that we're going to be live next week from. Yes, it is called Dungeon Cafe. It is a great place. Yes, thank you for your Dungeon Burger. I have it so much. I know. It sounds weird to have a Dungeon Burger at a cafe, but it's not weird. I go for lunch every day. I'm trying to add pounds. You know? Yes, he's starting a flag football team. And I'm an offensive lineman, and I just need to be big. Yes. I I opted to play linebacker. Yep, we have a team. There's 27 teams in our league. Of all college students, yes. Okay, well, my shout-out is to Chad. Ocho Cinco? Yes, for not being signed with the team yet. But soon enough, he will be. And I give a shout-out, just wishing him good luck. I want to mention that T.O. should sign with a high school. I think that would work. You know, a high school that's pretty good, you know, that he can win a ring on. Because and a shout-out? He, he hasn't gotten a ring yet. We have an extra shout-out to Musty Rand Watchleader for leading his Minnesota high school to 5-0. and Yes. They are looking great behind the elite dominant of their kick returner, Polly Mosey. Well, that's all we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. But thank you. I bow down to you all. Vikings on out.